These days, most professional designers, like many other knowledge workers, rely on software and digital tools to carry out their work. Interestingly though, designers still appear to prefer analog tools like pen, paper and whiteboards for brainstorming and ideation. And it's not because we haven't tried. As previous research indicates, these types of activities have attracted significant attention from the AGI communities in the form of new promising tools. Informed by these two insights, we wanted to investigate particular qualities around brainstorming to figure out why they are so difficult to successfully mediate. To do this, we present a very detailed analysis of a study comparing analog tools to their digital counterparts in a within-subject study design. We focus on the well-known concepts of divergent and convergent thinking, and we use linkography, which is a specific type of protocol analysis. This method basically involves tracking each individual design move over time and linking them together over the course of the whole design session. The careful mapping of the designer's utterances allow for a highly detailed analysis of the most important moves taken by the designers. These moves are referred to as critical in linkographic analysis and can be determined so due to their directionality. This means that a move which introduces content that is referred to a lot in the future is considered a forward-linking critical move, and a move which considers a high amount of existing moves is considered a back-linking critical move. These special types of moves are theoretically related to convergent and divergent thinking, and so by looking at them, we are able to say something about how digital and analog tools impact the creative process. We found a large difference between the two conditions in the amount of backlinking critical moves. And here you see an example of this in the case of move 49, uh, which summarizes and draws upon three previous design moves, thereby making it a critical move in the design session due to its backlinking nature. We explored additional features of the protocol to reach the conclusion that a digital tool designed to support current design practices potentially leads to an increase in convergent thinking compared to the existing analog practice. We also didn't find a significant difference in divergent thinking, which might be due to a relatively small sample size, but may also indicate the dual nature of design ideation, where both uh, are simultaneously occurring phenomena. For more information, I encourage you to read our paper. Finally, I want to thank my co-authors Midas, Kim and Peter and the VLUX Foundation and Aarhus University's Research Foundation for supporting this research.